Yo, what's good reefers? We're back with another episode. Today, we're gonna be going over how to cycle your aquarium. Let's get it. Sweet. Took a little time off there, but we're finally back. Um, had a lot of projects to work on, so I had to put this on the back burner. I'm in the process right now of cycling my mini complete aquarium. So I figured it'd be a good time to go over what the cycling process is and how it works and a couple tips and tricks to get your tank cycling a little bit quicker. Before we do jump into anything, please hit that subscribe button down below. The more subscribers we have, the more content we can continue to make for you. Really appreciate the support. Awesome. You went out, you got yourself a nice fish tank, you threw some water in there from the LFS. You're thinking to yourself, now I can just start stocking it up. That is not the case. Please don't do that. First, we need to establish a nice cycle within the tank. When anybody refers to a cycle, they're talking about the nitrogen cycle. What the hell is that? Let's go to school real quick. Check out this chart. The nitrogen cycle is the process of converting ammonia into nitrites into nitrates. You're probably asking yourself, why though? The reason we need to do this is because if you think about it, we have a box that's full of water and these fish are going to the bathroom over and over in there. There's food that we drop in there that's laying on the ground and it is basically dissolving into the water, into ammonia, which is actually harmful. How do I convert ammonia into nitrites, into nitrates, and then remove them from the tank? It's kind of a natural process. So what happens is we need to create ammonia within your tank, and over time, you're gonna get ammonia oxidizers that will convert it from ammonia into nitrites. And then again, over time, the nitrite oxidizers will convert it from nitrites into nitrates. And then nitrates are the removable form that you're going to be taking things out of your tank via a water change. Science, man. How do we get ammonia in the tank? Two different ways you can do that. First one is you can simply add fish into the tank. Quick caveat, I'm not a big advocate for this process as I think it's a little bit harmful for the fish. It does stress them out a little bit. What you basically do is just add some sort of fish that are a little bit more hardy, maybe a damsel or a chromis into the tank and feed them regularly. They're gonna go ahead and move their bowels, obviously, and create ammonia. The second form is fishless. It's basically just adding food into your tank over and over until you build up some ammonia. Now, this is gonna take a lot of testing. You gotta make sure you test your water regularly to see where your ammonia levels are at. You're gonna check for ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. In the beginning of the cycle, you're only gonna have ammonia, right? So once we establish ammonia in the tank, we need to get that bacteria going. You can do this in, in two different ways as well. Number one, you can just wait. This could take very long. Uh, you're waiting for nature to kind of do its thing and convert things over, which is fine. But again, you have to have a lot of patience for that. A little trick that I use is I keep a tank ornament in my sump all the time, whether I have another tank going or not. The reason I do that is because my 90 gallon reef tank is already established. It's already mature and already has a nitrogen cycle going. That good bacteria is now living on that piece that I put in there, that, that tank ornament. What I can do is take that tank ornament and put it into my new tank once there's ammonia. What that's going to do is jumpstart that process and before you know it, you're going to have nitrates in the tank. This can also be achieved by basically scooping up a piece of live rock from your LFS and putting that into your tank. What you're going to notice is a huge spike in ammonia. You're going to notice a huge spike in nitrites and then a huge spike in nitrates, right? Once we have all three established, then we know we're almost there, man. You just gotta hold on a little bit longer. The next thing we're waiting for is for those ammonia levels to drop and those nitrite levels to drop as well. Once we have undetectable levels, we, we want absolutely zero here, then we know the tank is officially cycled. Awesome Reef is where I appreciate you tuning in today. Please hit that subscribe button before you do leave down below. As always, visit me on Instagram at tankbro. Really appreciate all the support. I hope to continue to make these episodes for you guys. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below as well. If you have any suggestions for up and coming episodes, I'm all ears, more than happy to listen to your guys' advice and go ahead and create those episodes for you. Till next time, happy reefing, guys.